You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages, and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. <music> India has a long history of arts and crafts. Every part of the country has its own unique cultural ethos which is manifested in the handicrafts of that particular region. To nurture and preserve these traditional handicrafts and art forms and provide them with a market and an opportunity, Hunar Hat was recently organized in Puducherry. Have a look. Hunar Hat is a celebration of the beautiful craftsmanship of India, the diverse art forms in the country and skilled artisans. First launched in 2016, the Hat has been conceptualized to protect and promote the country's ancestral legacy of arts and crafts in the current global competition and to support the traditional artisans and craftsmen. This year, 36th Hunar Hat has been organized at Old Port Crown Puducherry from February 11 to 22 with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's directions to the Ministries of Work for Atmanirbhar Bharat and Vocal for Local. यहाँ पे सभी हस्तकारीगर आपको पूरे भारत में से मिलेंगे और different type के crafts हैं जैसे embroidery है मेरा है, lock printing है, फिर carpet है, weaving है, सब तरीके का wooden craft है, master सब craft कारीगर आए हुए हैं तो आप जरूर यहाँ पे आइए सब लोग the artisans participating in the Hunar Hat exhibitions are those whose forefathers were involved in such traditional handmade work and are still continuing their profession. This year, more than 600 artisans and craftsmen from more than 30 states and UTs are participating in the Hunar Hat, and a total of 300 stalls are set up in the event. Every corner of the country is endowed with various kinds of indigenous artifacts made with wood, glass, bamboo, cloth paper and different other materials. A simple walk in the Hunar Hat can take visitors through a myriad of artistic specimens across clothes, handicrafts, accessories and traditional food. Beautiful crafts made of various types of wood arts by the artisans are being liked by all people as their fine carving are making them more attractive and elegant. The visitors are also encouraging the artisans and craftsmen by making large-scale purchases of indigenous products. I have come from Muradabad. I have brought my metal and made my own metal, which is in the home and decorated. This is all made by handmade. We have made a lot of work here. 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 During the last seven years, lakhs of artisans and craftsmen have been provided employment opportunities through the event. Apart from making a market to indigenous product, Hunar Hat exhibitions also showcase various cultural and musical programs by renowned artists. This year, the event is subject to strict compliance of COVID rules and the organizers have made adequate arrangements keeping in mind the pandemic situation. India is home to a number of different cultures, ethnicities and religious communities that reside here peacefully. Examples of this harmonious coexistence could be easily spotted in every nook and corner of the country. Today, we will take you to Srinagar city of Jammu in Kashmir, where a deaf Muslim man is taking care of a Hindu temple. A small Shiv temple situated in the Zabravan hills of Srinagar in Jammu in Kashmir has become the talk of the town. The reason behind it is the caretaker of the temple named Nisar Ahmed Alai who despite of being a Muslim has been taking care of the holy site for months. This temple is a 
शिव जी का मंदिर है जो कि ईश्वर में एक आश्रम है ईश्वर आश्रम है जो यहाँ के हेड है वहाँ पे इंद्र कृष्ण रैना वही इसकी देखभाल करते हैं और इसकी जो देखभाल करते हैं हमारी मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी के लोड करते हैं निसार अहमद अलाय इज अ स्पेशली एबल्ड पर्सन हु इज विजली एंड हियरिंग इम्पेयर बट डिस्पाइट ऑफ इज शॉर्ट कमिंग्स अलाय टेक्स केयर ऑफ दिस टेम्पल विद अटमोस्ट डिटर्मिनेशन एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी Alai's father took care of the temple for 6 years. After him, Alai proceeded and takes care of the temple including its cleaning and protection. Locals believe this temple is a sign of Kashmir's mutual brotherhood. Ye ye to purani baat hai yahan pe Kashmir har har ek har ek mazhab ko yahan pe respect karte hai. Har ek mazhab ko yahan pe yahan pe koi bhi Hindu ho ya Christian ho koi bhi hai yahan pe har ek mazhab ko respect karte hai. It is due to example like these that the world remains awestruck with India's ability to stay united despite its diversity. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Indian Space Research Organisation launched three satellites into the lower orbit of the Earth at an altitude of 529 km from Satish Dhawan Space Centre along the eastern coast. The satellite was lifted by PSLV C-52 Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The main payload was EOS-04 Earth Observation Satellite, a radar imaging satellite for high-quality pictures to serve agricultural purpose. forestry and plantations soil moisture and hydrology and flood mapping isro chief s somnath congratulated the teams involved and declared the mission a success after precise separations and establishments of satellites in the intended orbits the mission of pslvc 52 year 04 has been successfully accomplished The primary satellite EOS-04 has been put in a very precise orbit by the PSLV C-52, and along with that, the co-passenger satellites INS-2D and InspireSat also has been placed in the right orbit. So, congratulations to everybody who worked for this mission. The flight also took two more passenger satellites with it: a student satellite Inspire Sat and a technology demonstrator satellite INS T2D from ISRO, which is a predecessor to India Bhutan joint satellite INS2B. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is bullish about India's space research program and has repeatedly lauded the effort of his scientists. Indian Institute of Skiing and Mountaineering in Jammu and Kashmir's Winter Sports Hub of Gulmarg is training the youth of the valley and the country in various adventure sports. The state of the art adventure school offer basic and advanced course in skiing, adventure, rock climbing, aero sports, trekking, mountaineering and water skiing among others. Yahan hum adventure ke alag alag type ke courses karte hain. Winter mein basically skiing ke upar emphasis diya jata hai. तो विंटर में हम सिक्स कोर्सेज दो हफ्ते के हर कोर्स होता है सिक्स कोर्सेज करते हैं उसमें बेसिक भी होता है एडवांस भी होता है इंटरमीडिएट कोर्स भी होता है जिसमें ऑल ओवर कंट्री के स्टूडेंट जो है आके पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज अ वेल नोन टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन फॉर विंटर एक्टिविटीज सच एस स्नो बोर्डिंग स्केटिंग स्लेज राइड्स गंडोला जॉन्स cable car rides snow skiing making tourism one of the main stays of state's economy mango traders auctioned the most expensive mango in 50 years in western india's pune city the crate of ratnagiri alfonso mango one of the most popular and considered best mango varieties in the world was sold at 31000 rupees per crate during the auction The buyer Yuvraj Kachi said it was for the first time since such a tradition of auctioning of season's first mangoes began that the prices went so high. अब ये शुरुआत क्या आम है ये हर साल पहली बार जब मार्केट में आम आते हैं तो इसका बाजार ऐसे ही तरह से निकलता है क्योंकि इसको ये दिखाने के बाद आगे के जो बाजार चलता है जो दो महीने में बाजार आने वाला है लौट आने वाला है माल चलने वाला है उस टाइम पे गिराक ज़्यादा चाहिए गिराक बिठाने का काम रहता है इसके लिए पहला माल का जो बोली बनता है सबके सामने इसके लिए इतना महंगा होता है ये साल पहली बार इतनी महंगी बोली लगा के ये लेना पड़ा 
The auctioning started from 5,000 rupees and went on to Akkachi winning the bid for 31,000 rupees. He went on to buy four more boxes later at 124,000 rupees. Traders say this is a part of tradition at the mango market. All traders want to buy the first box of Ratnagiri mangoes as it is believed that whoever takes first box, prosperity and wealth comes to him. Jammu and Kashmir has been the land of great Sufi saints and mystics. The teachings of these Sufi saints have acted as a guidance force for many citizens. Recently, the Urs of Sufi Saint Ghulam Nabi Khan was organized in Anantnag district of the Union Territory, which brought together people of all faiths under one roof. Situated among the snow-clad pastures of Anantnag district, the Darga of Ghulam Nabi Khan is an epicenter of religious harmony. Regarded as one of the oldest dargahs in the district, the dargah gives out loud the message of peace, kindness and brotherhood. To perpetuate his teachings of oneness and communal harmony, the Urz of the Sufi saint was recently organized at the shrine that was attended by people of different faiths. Sufi Buzargun ki agar hum baat kare to Sufi Buzargun ka hamesha se yehi daras raha hai ki miljol kar rahe hamsaye ka khayal rakhe chahe wo Hindu ho ya Musliman ho Hindu Muslim bhai chara jo hai wo inhi ki den hai aur inhi ki wajah se aaj pure kainat mein agar dekhe jaye to bhai chare ki ek misal Kashmir hai aur ye sab kuch Sufi Buzargun ka sikhaya hua hai jo puri dunya mein parchar ho raha hai ki bhai chare ki misal bani hui hai Kashmir wadi ye inhi ka sab kuch sikhaya hua hai Also known as Ibn Fadha Nabi Khan was the younger son of Lassa Khan Fida, a popular Sufi saint of Kashmir Valley. Devotees from different parts of the valley came together to celebrate the Urs by resounding and reciting verses of the Holy Quran and Nats. Authorities had made arrangements for devotees under court protocols and administration made sure that only a limited number of devotees participate in the Urs. आज ये जो हमारे एनुअल यहाँ सुफियोजम का एक कल्चर यहाँ होता है हमारे कल्चर में ये सिंह 700 इयर्स से चलता आ रहा है और हमारी अनंतनाग में फेमस एक जियारत है जहाँ पे आए और एसओपीज का बहुत ही अच्छा पालन किया गया सैनिटाइजर्स प्रॉपर एडजेस्टमेंट था जितने भी स्टैंडर्ड अप्रोसेस for the last several years, the Dargah of Ghulam Nabi Khan has been playing a key role in strengthening secularism and promoting harmony amongst all religions. And now we will take you to Ladakh, where the 15th CEC Women's Ice Hockey Championship was organized recently. Take a look. The territory of Ladakh not only serves as a perfect destination for spending holidays in the winter season, but also for enjoying a wide variety of winter sports. Ladakh being the hub of ice hockey in the country, the 15th CEC Cup Ice Hockey Championship 2022 was recently organized in Ladakh. Due to the pandemic, all matches had been kept on a knockout basis. अभी तकरीबन 30 साल से हम लद्दाख विंटर स्पोर्ट्स क्लब इस आइस हॉकी को प्रमोट कर रहे हैं तो हमने देखा हुआ है कि पहले हम कर्जू एक पॉन्ड में खेला करते थे जो साइड बोर्ड भी नहीं थे उस समय सिर्फ प्लैंक्स लगा के खेला करते थे अभी उस 30 साल के बाद आप देख सकते हैं कि यहां पर एक इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड का एक रिंग बना हुआ है जो कि शायद हमें उम्मीद है इस साल कंप्लीट हो जाएगा और साइड बोर्ड जो कि आपने शायद हर मैचेस में देखा होगा हमने साइड बोर्ड्स लगाए हैं जो कि हमें हॉकी फाउंडेशन अमेरिका और कैनेडियन जो कि हमारे वेल विशेष हैं उन्होंने हमें डोनेट किया हुआ है ये एक इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड का अभी हर प्लेयर जो है हर टीम जो है वो इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड साइज पे स्टाइल्स के रिंग पर वो खेलते हैं विद द बोर्ड्स Organized by the District Youth Services and Sports Department in collaboration with Ladakh Winter Sports Club Leh, a total of seven teams participated in the event. Team Karu sealed their victory by defeating Team Lelok in a furious final match which was organized at the ice hockey ring, India Sports Complex in Leh. 
The prizes were distributed and players along with officials were felicitated by guests at the closing ceremony. Khushi is baat ki hai ki is time ladkiyon ka jo players hai wo bahut zyada aa rahe hai to bahut acha lag raha hai hame kyunki लड़कियों को आगे मिलने का आगे बढ़ने का हौसला मिलता है इससे छोटे जितने भी लड़कियां हैं अथॉरिटीज इन द टेरिटरी आर वर्किंग टायरलेसली टू डेवलप आइस हॉकी एज एन इंटरनेशनल स्पोर्ट द आइस हॉकी मेंस चैंपियनशिप विल आल्सो कमेंस इन द अपकमिंग डेज At last we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Venice officially kicked off its carnival celebrations with a parade of historical and scenic boats on the Grand Canal. The waterbound parade representing different organizations and affiliations made its way along the fabled canals carrying cloaked and masked Venetians cheered on by visitors on the bridges and piers. The Venice Carnival is world famous. It always takes place during the 10 days leading up to the Christian religious season of Lent, which is traditionally associated with fasting and other forms of abstinence. Carnival being a pre-Lent festival means farewell to meat and is celebrated throughout Italy. It was first held in Venice in the 11th century and consisted of over 2 months of revelry until it fell into decline during the 18th century. Since 1980, Japanese company Casio has been developing innovative technologies to help musicians better their performances. Now the Casio Tone CTS1000V is featuring new vocal synthesis technology that has the ability to bring words to life with the help of 800 stunning tones and other musical tools. こちらのキーボードはあのいわゆる普通の、えー、シンセサイザーキーボードとは違って、えー、歌いますでその歌うというのがとてもユニークで、まあ、日本では、えー、ボーカロイドというそういう、えー、コンピューターを使って、えー、人工的に人が歌っていない歌声を作るというのはもうポピュラーであるんですけれども。これは英語も日本語もどっちも歌うことができます。で、その歌詞もスマートフォンやタブレットからその歌詞を送って、自分の好きなようにこいつを歌わせることができるので、僕はキーボードというよりかは新しい楽器かなというような感じがします。このキーボードはまあ電子キーボードとしてあのカシオトーンのバラブランドの中でまあ一番の高いハイグレードなものとして開発されています。であのこれまではですねあのキーボードっていうのはピアノの音はもちろんあとギターや管楽器弦楽器のようなたくさんの音を使って一人でワンマン演奏できるというのがまあ基本的なコンセプトの商品だったんですけども、まあ、これまであの音,音質はあの日進月歩で良くなってきてはいるんですけども最後まであの出せない音があったんですね。でそれは何かっていうと人間の声だったんです、えー、ボーカルっていうものが音楽あのキーボードで再現できないのはやっぱり残念だなというのをずっと考えておりましてねでその中でたまたま、えー、名古屋工業大学というところで研究されている声を使って、えー、音楽を奏でるという研究をされてましてでその技術をカシオの技術と融合させることによってそしてそれを鍵盤で弾けるようにするっていう技術を開発してそれによって今回鍵盤を使って歌詞を含んだ声ボーカルを演奏することができるという商品を作ったというのがこの商品の経緯コンセプトでございます。This innovative vocal synthesis allows user to choose from multiple vocalist models and adjust age, vibrato, portamento and other parameters. It can produce choir, robotic sound, vocoder-like textures, and more, and even create a custom vocalist based on an audio recording. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, or FAO, has launched a new fish farming initiative for farmers and fishmongers in Zimbabwe. to support their livelihoods and make fisheries more sustainable.
According to FAO, aquaculture in Zimbabwe is struggling to reach its full potential despite the technical progress. When I entered into the tilapia farming, I thought it was an easy thing to do, especially when we started on the construction of ponds. I thought we can just use our picks, our walls to make the ponds. But later on I discovered that there was need for bigger, bigger machineries like excavators. The project is also aimed to improve food security and contribute to poverty reduction as well as stimulate economic growth across this landlocked nation. The initiative will invest in value chains to stimulate inclusive growth, bolster food security and minimize impacts on the marine environment. The goal is to make fisheries and aquaculture value chains in Africa, the Caribbean and the Pacific more sustainable. For many people in Zimbabwe, as well as on the rest of the African continent, fish provides a rich resource of essential nutrients. NTT Communications is a representative Japanese company of ICT and DX. NTT Communications is developing robot to manage the function of data center. With many companies moving to DX, the number of data centers is increasing rapidly, thus requiring more reliable management and efficient service delivery. There are a number of subjects like continuous increasing capacity, increased maintenance cost and shortage of staff which needs to be looked after. The developed robots could be brought into use for solving these issues. NTT is a data center in 20 countries and it is growing every year. But the cost of the data center is very high. It is a lot of money and it is a lot of money. In these areas, the cost of the data NTT Communications is developing the most effective and efficient management of data center. It is the mission as a spearhead company of ICT and DX. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at ANIN.com. I'm your host, Uzma Jafri, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.